Hello, I'm Carol Walton, author of The New Stone Age, and I'm here to talk with Rashia Bell of The Crystalline, who does energetically balanced interiors and lifestyles. So think of it as therapy for your home. So I wanted to ask her a few questions to answer our design issues so she can talk about crystals and the solutions within our own homes. Rashia, first of all, I wanted to ask you, what's your favorite crystal and why? It's funny, that's such a hard question for me to answer. I feel like it depends on the day, um, but definitely one of my favorite crystals is hematite. Um, and hematite is such a really beautiful grounding stone. It actually sometimes is magnetic. And so it's a stone that's really great for manifestation and sort of welcoming the energy in that you want to draw in and sort of repelling what you don't need. So um, I'd say that's been a stone that's been important to me definitely during this time. If someone was starting off in a new, a new apartment, a new home, what is the first crystal you think they should bring into that space? Yeah, I, for me, I really would say clear quartz is a great way to start. I think it sounds simple, but especially when we're talking about interiors, it's something that's neutral. It can work within any space. From an energetic perspective, it's a really balancing and harmonizing stone. So you can really use it in so many interchangeable ways and in different areas of the home that it's a great one to start with and then to see what you're drawn to. Is there one room in the house that should definitely have a crystal? And is there one room that you would never put one in? Uh, well, I'll start with the latter. There's no nevers <laughs> for me when it comes to crystals. I think it's really about where you love to have them. So I'd say that changes for each person. Um, the one room that I would definitely say that you want to have crystals in is any room where there's a lot of technology where you have your computers, where you have your Wi-Fi, and black tourmaline in particular is a stone that I love to place in areas where there's a lot of technology because it helps to absorb the electromagnetic frequencies from the devices that we have in our home. And these days we have quite a few. Um, and that can actually affect how we sleep. So I think it's really important to have those in those areas to help absorb the energy that our electronics give off. So now that you've got your crystals in your home, what's the best way to housekeep them? Is there anything special you need to do? There really isn't anything special. You definitely want to make sure certain stones are not able to be put in water. Certain stones can be. So for me, as far as taking care of them, you know, just sort of dusting them for wanting to sort of clear the energy within our stones. If we think they've been absorbing a lot or we've been going through challenging things, I love to burn sage. Um, you want to make sure you open up your windows and your doors and then you can light some sage and actually use the smoke um, from the sage to help help keep your crystals and to help clear them and maintain the energy in them. So how do you tell if the energy has changed in a room? What's the kind of the litmus test? Yeah, I mean, I'd say the litmus test sort of first and foremost is, are you using that space anymore? Is it a space that you maybe once frequented that now you're avoiding or you, own, you notice you only convene in certain areas of the home? I think our own intuition is sort of the best indicator of, of if the energy has changed. And so it's really about looking at how we're interacting within our spaces, how we're moving throughout them, and then ultimately you know, are we using them to their full potential or possibilities? If you had to give a crystal to anyone, who would that be and why? Well, I think anyone can have crystals. I think you just have to be open to them. Um, I would say one crystal that I would definitely want to give them, which is one maybe not everybody has heard about, is selenite. Um, it's a gypsum based stone, it's a salt based stone. So it has really very sort of therapeutic purification qualities, being that it's salt based, similar to Himalayan salt. Um, and it's a great energy clearer. I love to put it in entryways because it sort of helps us transition from the outside world as we move into our home. Um, and so that would probably be my must have if you were only gonna choose one. But is there an entryway you can think of that needs this energetic clearing? 
Well, I think, you know, I live Maybe in a big the white house. Yeah, <laughs> well, I think we can definitely think of probably quite a few um, that need them, and that would definitely be one of them. Um, but especially now, we're spending a lot of times at home, and so our spaces can get really stagnant just because our energy is using um, having to function within our space in a totally different way. And so it's important to make sure that we're clearing it so that our home feels great. And so I love. It can go anywhere. I love to put them in closets. I love to put them in bedrooms. There's no wrong place to put selenite, for example, but in particular, when you want to sort of leave the outside world behind, leave your day behind, it's nice to kind of have it in um, transitional areas within your home. So why do we need crystals in our closet? Uh, so it's a stagnant space. It's closed off. And so since selenite is a stone that's about purification and helps with air circulation, that would be why you would place it somewhere like that. I see. So now out of all the crystals that you have, if you were on a desert island and they were being washed out to sea, what's the one you'd wade in to rescue? Um, gosh, that's tough. Um, I, if I had to choose one, I would probably, and I think if um, largely because it fits the desert island theme, I would choose pyrite um, first because it's a protective stone. So it's going to help protect my energy while I'm on that island. Um, secondly, because pyrite is otherwise known as fool's gold. Um, so it might come in handy if I encounter some pirates. Uh, I might be able to do some bartering <laughs> or something with my crystal. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your tips for us to re-energize our homes. Thank and if anyone wants to know more about ideas and inspirations for living with crystals, do take a look at the new Stone Age.